So today, I actually came for the married women precisely. Married women. So when you have little issues with your husband, when you guys have a little misunderstanding, you will start running your mouth like popcorn that is on the fire. You will start ranting. You start calling him all sorts of names. I just say, let me tell you that while you are there calling him all sorts of names, trying to lock him outside, try to starve him, you're no longer giving him food, trying to do everything in the world to make sure that you punish him in your, in your language because that's what you see it as. You see it like you're punishing him by doing all of that. I just say, let me inform you that very soon your husband will no longer come back. Yes. Uh, it is true that you have children for him because most times women feel like when you have a uh, when you have children for a man or when you have a child for a man you've now tied him down that whatever be it that you do he cannot leave you because of the children my dear that was before that was then men of these days if you if you do anyhow they will leave both you and the kids there are women out there that are single that are just waiting for a slight opportunity to use and grab that your husband. I don't know if you know. I know you'll be like, eh, God forbid, he's not my husband. This is not God forbid matter. This is the matter of guiding your husband with all, with all, uh, with all your strength. Yes. Because the more you are sending him, the more you are locking him out, the more you are calling him all sorts of names, that is the more you are pushing him into the hands of another lady. And the more you lock him out, that is when the other lady is going to be like, okay, that's when the other lady is going to start uh, 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 cooking well for him. She's going to even kneel down to serve him food, something you don't do. We, we all know that as a married woman, it's very difficult for, <laughs> for anybody to kneel down with serving their husband food. But that side chick is ready to even lie down to serve him food. You, you're going to start hearing her telling him things like, that your wife, no. In my place, our women from our place used to lie down to give their husbands food. All of that, all of that. She's going to kneel down to give him food. She's going to prepare the kind of food you've never even prepared before. Yes, she's going to prepare. It. See, all these side chicks can cook. Oh, don't play, don't play. She's going to give him the type of styles you've never given him before. Man, when you see style, your mind go dee. She will give him all those styles. She will even, uh, she will treat him like a baby. When he's sleeping, she's going to cover him. She's going to pamper him. And as such, Oga will not come back home again. Because everybody wants petting. All of us want petting. There's nobody that will come out now and say, No, I don't like petting, no. It's going to make me spoil. My dear, there's no such thing, no. Everybody these days likes petting. Petting to a fault, oh. So if you know what is good for you, if you're having issues with him, don't let that issue exceed that same day. It is not going to be too much for you to beg. It is not going to be too much for you to apologize. But believe you me, the moment you have to start going to a side chick to beg her, uh, please leave my husband for me or, my, or you go to go and fight her. Okay, okay, the side chick you're going to go and fight, it's even possible that she's even, she's even stronger than you. What if you go there to go and fight her and she beat you? What will you do? Okay, you imagine how embarrassing and how and how and how belittling it's gonna to be to you to go and start begging a side chick. Please leave my husband. Please allow my husband to come home. Please allow my husband to come and see his children. Okay, can my children come and stay with my husband, your own husband again? Then the child, then the side chick is not gonna start giving you other like okay, they are, they are, I can only allow your children to come and stay for two days. Aside that, no, he's not coming. Can you imagine? Are you playing? Then your children are not going to go there and she's going to treat them like a slave. Would you prefer that? It is better now. If you have any, no matter how slight the, the, the quarrel might be, no matter how no matter how little you think that the quarrel is, my dear, settle it. Uh, leave pride one side. Just keep pride. Settle it. It's not going to take out anything from you. Don't let it escalate to the point where you're going to go and start begging any side chick to leave your husband. That is the most embarrassing thing you could ever do. Learn to pamper him. Learn to talk to him well. A man deserves some respect. Learn to respect him. 
before you start going up and down with people's pages i start coming to my dm and asking me eh uh, my husband that was how one sent me a question that i said eh uh, my husband okay came back home late so i had to lock him out just to show him how angry i was and so today my husband is not back yet i said so since you did not ask me before locking him out it is better you go and look for him because where have we, so what are you telling me to do now are you telling me to come and follow you and go and look for him or what i only told her that the thing is you have to go and look for him wherever he is and make things right because now that you're working in my dm i don't know what you want me to do for you learn to make things right before it's too late